the voice of Sherry. Hi, this is your host Arlene at the Durian Heat, where we discuss critical issues from Southeast Asia. Today, we are going to talk about the freedom to laugh on political cartoons and the importance of freedom of expression. When we talk about cartoons, we would almost always refer to kids' cartoons such as Doraemon, Snoopy, and Pokemon. But cartoons offer more than just childhood entertainment. Cartoons can serve as a political bandwagon. In this case, creating greater awareness of one's political environment. Laughter is the best medicine, no doubt about that. But it is hard to be angry at political humor, mainly because it is meant to make a person laugh and reflect at the ironies of one's political view. I will be speaking to Zunar, a well-known political cartoonist who has spent his life drawing controversial cartoons depicting Malaysia's politics and politicians. Zuna has been on the authorities' watch list that he has been charged with numerous seditious offences. If the combined sentences are to be carried out, he would be serving his prison sentences for more than 40 years. Yet, he has never stopped drawing and has since won numerous human rights awards globally for his work in defending freedom of expression. In this segment, my co-host Grace and I will be speaking with Zunar on the importance of freedom of expression and why Malaysians need to stop complaining and start to do something about their nation. The Durian Heat Bringing big ideas and critical opinions in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Early on, you spoke about your new latest venture, which is Cartoon for the People or Cartoon for the Right Yet. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to some of the more controversial part about your career. Just recently, you were charged by the Malaysian government, but this is not the first time. In previous time as well, you faced uh, numerous charges for the government to silence some of your work. Can you share us more? What triggered the government from the beginning until now to want to silence your work? What have you done actually that is so controversial? I, I, I cannot speak on behalf of them. <laughs> but again, maybe this is, uh, you know, when I... You know, uh, cartoon is, is a very powerful we- weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know, I'm not saying weapon. A tool of communi- communication nowadays, you know, cartoon. Because cartoon has so many, so many advantages compared to others, uh, medium. Like uh, the example, cartoon come with joke, mm. so people get very happy, likely. And then, uh, cartoon have a ve- has a very quick message. While looking at one drawing, you can get the issues. You know? And then, uh, cartoon also um, uh, is very universal. Nowadays, we are talking about uh, uh, social media. When you draw cartoon in Malaysia, people can understand everywhere in the world. Yeah. By looking at it, because cartoon. You know? So and also we have a very graphical uh, images that people can register in their mind. Yeah. Uh, so so this is this is, and then also is 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 also it can go uh, it can uh, transcend beyond racial and beyond social class. Like uh, people in town can can understand that. You go to people in uh, uh, rural area, they still can understand that. Mm-hmm. So for me, cartoon is a uh, very very uh, powerful and. Come to Malaysia. In Malaysia now we have so many people are not happy with the government. People are not happy with the government. So I, I, I give them a solution for this. I said, I know you're not happy with the government, and but I know you, I also know that you are really not uh, brave enough to go to the street. And oh, okay, they have some 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 reason. Mm-hmm. We understand some of them working with the government or they working with big company. You know, it's it's, it's not not safe. It's very risky for them to go outside. In other words, see. the silent majority. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, okay, now if you cannot do that, join me, and with uh, the uh, protest or to protest in my way. Protest, uh, laughter is the best protest. Mm. So we laugh at the government. You cannot beat them, laugh at them. 
But do you think the government uh, can take a joke? Especially from they, you? They, they don't. <laughs> but, but also, this is the best way, you know. Mm-hmm. They, can, they, 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 they cannot take a joke, especially in Malaysia. Right. And many, many regimes, they cannot take this. That's why it's more beauty of it. You cannot take it, you know. And, and also, they don't know how to handle it. Mm-hmm. You know, people, if you go to the street, they know. They know how to, they, they have a law to counter that. And every regime in the world, they've been trained how to handle street protests, how to handle riot. But how not to how to handle How to handle <laughs> laughter. How, how to handle laughter. Yeah. They, they cannot, they, 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 they don't know how to do. I mean, I mean uh, uh, legally, but of course they will take action against you, but they, legally they, they can't. So, so the best protest, so laugh, laugh, just laugh. Laugh at the government. I told my through my Facebook. I told my supporter so many times. We laugh at the government, but laugh at the prime minister. Mm-hmm. But don't laugh when he make joke. Mm-hmm. Laugh when he is serious. So, so they can the offense that you were being charged mm. uh, apparently it it is quote unquote detrimental mm-hmm. to public order. Yeah. How is that so? I mean, uh, there's the, the the one they used to ban my book because it. They said uh, detrimental to public order and can Did influence. Did you spread any misinformation? Uh, no, no, no. This for them. For them, the truth is seditious. Mm-hmm. But for us, we just tell. Because in Malaysia, you should know that for those who not really understand about Malaysian situation, freedom of expression in Malaysia, all um, um, newspapers or medias are controlled by the government, the editorial. So we, we, c- we have to give, uh, for me, I, through my cartoon, I also give an, uh, an uh, alternative view and alternative news through my cartoon. So the one that cannot be published in, in, in uh, mainstream media. So this is what I'm doing. Because the government not happy with it, that's I cannot say anything. Because this is, people need to know. People have a right to know this is a very important issue. I think as an example, now the corruption is very big in Malaysia. People know very know about 2.6 billion. And no newspaper put up any any uh, news or opinion piece on it. They are not allowed to do that. But through my cartoon, I, I, I put it. This is people need to know. So if the government feel that this is detrimental or they feel offended, I cannot say anything. This is my job. This is my responsibility to do that. Mm-hmm. So talking about the responsibility, right? You also mm-hmm. said having talent, you also, even though you are born with the talent, but you've got a responsibility mm-hmm. to send out the message, a proper message across to the public. But being a cartoonist, you can do so many things just by drawing and also having the, this uh, a balloon sign and they put the, the messages there. It's quite straightforward, to be honest. Mm. But at the same time, there are a lot of messages are hidden yeah. um, by drawing the certain characters and the expressions that you are drawing. So you talk about the responsibility. So can you elaborate more on the responsibility of the, being a cartoonist when it comes to freedom of freedom of expression in Malaysia? Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, like this, you know, the, when we are facing, when we, we try to fulfill, fulfill your responsibility mm-hmm. as a cartoonist, and you know this is a regime, that they have so many laws that can stop you. Uh, what we need to understand that, yes, I'm, I feel like anybody else. Now I'm facing 43 years nine charges the possible uh, jail term is 43 years and how old are you now i'm uh, 52 now i'm going to be 90 something <laughs> <laughs> probably be the same uh, yeah, age okay. as mahadir <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, <go> then <laughs> but again again okay uh, but do I, I have fear yes i have fear but again responsibility is greater than fear right so that's what we have to do what we need to do mm. but I, I also want to highlight the reason you feel or you are compelled to feel responsible, is it because other avenues are not doing what you are doing now? I, I'm, I'm not saying that. Yeah, maybe that's one of the factors, but that's not the only reason why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because for me, um, <coughs> uh, Malaysia need that. Malaysian, Malaysian need something, uh, need uh, uh, an information, need joke during this time. 
Because some of them, they feel that, oh, my days are numbered, you know, when they see the, the government introduce a new tax. Yeah. <laughs> but they say, oh, lucky your cartoon make my day. <laughs> that kind of things, you know. So you have to provide that. You have to provide that. So so this is the, and then in terms, going back to your question, in terms of, the, I, I try to make uh, uh, this cartoon can be accessible to as many as uh, level as I can. So if you see my cartoon, there are some main character and the other small characters. Mm. That's I call layers for every layers. There are some some uh, may look at the 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 main characters, then some some they just look at the smaller you know, one. The smaller yeah. one. So I want to create that. And now I got more more um, feedback from from readers that now they start to read the small one. Ah, right. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> after that only they go to the because they, you know now if you see my cartoon now I have the tweet tweet characters. There are so many small. So this is a dimension. This is to make a uh, to for the wider audience. Mm. There's some they don't want too hard. So they want the small thing first, you know. I see. But to attract them for this appetizer, <laughs> like appetizer for food, you know, you give it to appetizer first, the people will come. <laughs> then you get the main dish. That's what I'm for, you know. Some go to main dish, main dish first, then the appetizer become dessert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so, great. So th- this is the thing, you know. So 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 finally, in order to get more and more people. But again, uh, the important for uh, for uh, every cartoonist, in every artist in the world, that this is important for to 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 have a stand and to make a stand clearly seen in your work. This is what you're lacking in Malaysia, you know. I see. It's like we do, we don't have art. Mm-hmm. We don't have uh, art of protest. Mm-hmm. This is very few. But do you, do you have uh, feedback from Malaysians uh, or from people who actually do not like your cartoon, oh, but yeah, they are yeah. not from necessarily from the government? Oh yeah, yeah. You say many people don't like my yeah. cartoon. I say, okay, this is your right. Some people debate me and say, okay, if you're right, if you're not happy with my cartoon, no problem. Mm-hmm. I, I don't force you. I don't force you to read my cartoon. If you're not happy, fine. You can draw your own cartoon. <laughs> and for me, it's very simple. Yeah. This is, we, we need to understand. This is when, recently, when we are, I'm, I'm, I was in US, uh, I was in LA, there was, a, you know, it is about one year of the, Killing of Cherry Hebdo cartoonists. Oh yes. So the issue become become very big during that time. And it's also very partisan. Yeah, yeah. it's partisan. There are so many things people say. How 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 the cartoonists or how artists want to to tackle this? Is it the question is should we draw a line somewhere? Should can we touch about religion issues or the art issues we cannot cannot be touched? Mm. For me, it's very simple. As a as a, I'm a Muslim, I'm I'm, I'm a cartoonist. So I'm a Muslim cartoonist now. So I said it's very simple. If you if Muslim not happy with Charlie Hebdo, don't buy content it. is their cartoon. Yeah, it's okay. You you have a right not to happy, but you got no right to kill them. I see. You have to respect the right, their right. Mm. But you feel offended? Yes. Uh, me too. I'm not happy with that. People draw about Prophet Muhammad, but I cannot go and kill them or use force against them. I I can debate with them. I can protest. I can make a cartoon to to counter it, them. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Again, the same thing. The same thing. Principle. This happened to Malaysian government. I say, if you're not happy with my ga- my cartoon, or you feel offended with my cartoon, <laughs> don't come and and uh, arrest me. That's the same thing. They they tell him do. Yeah. You're not happy. Yes. You you debate. Mm-hmm. Which which part you are not happy? The durian heat, bringing big ideas and critical opinions in Southeast Asia. That's all for our interview today. Thanks for tuning in to Durian ASEAN with me, Arlene. For more amazing interviews by Durian ASEAN, please tune in to our website at durianasean.com. If you are on the road, you can always download our tuning app at Durian ASEAN. Please subscribe to our YouTube podcast and videos at Durian ASEAN and Durian TV. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram. We always welcome feedback from our listeners. Stay tuned again Monday to Friday, same time at 9 to 10 a.m. on GMT Plus 8. You're now listening to Durian ASEAN, the voice of discovery and sharing.